We can do it. Okay. We can go a bit faster now. We're not going downhill. Faster, Sam. Run with your 100 kilograms of weight on your back. Welcome, deliverer. There we go. Make a delivery. Delivering interesting lost cargo. Some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come okay. across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. Uh, deliver all of it? Oh, yeah. Interesting and continuing the delivery of lost cargo. If lost cargo is taken to a facility other than its intended destination, the following options can be selected. In trust delivery, submit the cargo to the facility. Okay. Okay. Don't entrust. Okay. Entrust. Yeah. Trying to put the rest of us to shame. <laughs> Fine by me. Twelve percent damage. Okay. I bet O four two two. I'm sure someone else will take it. See, you around. See ya. And we deliver the main cargo. Make a delivery, deliver the requested cargo. Chiral interface. Okay. Damn straight. Sorry to push you through so much trouble, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Excellent. The unit doesn't have a scratch on it. Never doubted you'd come through for us. Yes, because you think I'm a legend. Ooh. Sam. New boots. How are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine. Conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. You carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. Okay. Necrosis and the ancient Egyptian view of life and death. 
few years ago. Distribution center west of Knot City, the Carol Network One. Uh, the, the packages are going to be something grim. Yeah, it could be. Uh, more dead babies. I don't know. We can build a bridge. Cool. Skilled handler. Uh, you have reached the uh, miscellaneous grade 10. You will receive more likes. Cool. Boy. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a Cairo printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the Cairo network might, in essence, be a time machine. That really? Is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive mammals with fire. Really? Is it useful? Quite. Hey, Muffin. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, How am I enjoying it? decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to I don't know if I can pause it. Study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. There we go. Yeah, the game is very confusing. Um, but the gameplay is not as land as i thought it would be like the delivering of cargo and stuff is not it's weirdly satisfying uh so far i don't know i'm, I'm only like four hours five, five hours into it so far so i don't know we shall see New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. uh take on orders Power supply unit delivery, wind farm. Okay. Now, you've done a fine job expanding the Cairo network. But to make the most of it, we'll need to generate more power. We'll have to make a few hops before we can link up the closest city to. Once this wind farm is part of the Cairo network, we'll be able to route the energy. Maybe I want to be a mailman. I'd make a great mailman. Transmission methods, nothing is lost. We can provide power to distant regions and utilize facilities there as electrical substations. Yeah, maybe. To deliver a key component. Should be finished printing. Take it to the wind farm and get us in business. Uh, you spoiled yourself some celebrity cameos in the game. You will need. You'll meet a guy who draws. Amazing horror art, really? Okay. Hey, Sam, mind doing me a favor? Build a bridge. There's a bridge that needs building over a river just outside that distro center. It's too deep to ford, and we'd like a long term solution. Okay. The foundation's already been laid, and everything required to finish the job should be in storage. All you need to do is carry the remaining materials to the construction area and use them to complete the bridge. If it turns out there isn't enough there for our needs after all, you'll have to come up with the rest on your own. I know you've got a lot on your plate right now, but remember, this bridge will make your life easier too. Yeah, there's um, there's a similar thing, Muffin. There's a, I, I saw in the Tokyo Game Show thing that uh, there was an, some sort of music guy, a famous musician or something that had uh, had a part in the game as well. And I have no idea. I mean, nobody can really predict some of Kojima's insanity. You added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Okay. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Yeah. Take a stroll across one you built yourself. 
and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. Fabricate equipment. The foundation is a bridge. Once foundations are in place, add materials to level up the structure and complete the construction. When constructing a bridge, use L2 to prepare the bridge and R to move the camera up and down in order to make this. Okay, oh, okay materials 800. Got it. Uh, I think he puts people in different regions. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I know this mug. <laughs> uh, do I need to? I already have. I already have this. As an American talk show host as well, really. Would be lost on me. Right. Uh... I don't need metals. Wait, what does that do? Oh. There we go. Uh, I don't need metal, so let's put that in private locker. Unless we need metals... to um, actually build this bridge. I'd be very disappointed if that was the case. Hmm. Can't believe they put flex trip Trek Whip Snake. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Flex Trek Whip Snake. Oh. Uh, big brain, big brain. Let's. Uh, uh, uh. It wants to sign me into YouTube. One second. Paste and go. Uh. <laughs> there we go. So that's your backpack, huh? <laughs> You've had it for years and it's never let you down. Yeah, oh. your old backpack is good enough, right? Wrong! Once again, that's world-renowned naturalist and lecturer, the outdoors ultimate enthusiast, Steve Clymer. And this time he's wearing the brand wow. new Archwood Flex Trek 37 trillion Whip Snake Edition. A pack so revolutionary you'd have to be insane to go near any trail without it. This is Steve Clymer, the Outdoors stuff. Ultimate Enthusiast. I've always worn Archwood backpacks, whether it's the Sass Flex Day Pack, Easy Breeze Edition, or the classic Black Geyser. The, the Flex Trek 37 Trillion Whip Snake Edition is Archwood's most geyser. responsive pack yet. What about the Whip Snake Sidewinder Edition? I series with its space age responsive flex construction developed by NASA scientists, especially for Archwood. It's time to intimidate your surroundings with the brand new <laughs> Flex Trek 37 trillion Whip Snake Edition. You're no Steve Climber, but Steve exactly, Climber is, exactly and he won't game. be found anywhere without his Flex Trek 37 trillion Whip Snake Edition. <laughs> You're smart. You know what what gear you need you don't let people tell you what to do and that's why you always buy the archwood flex strike 37 trillion always buy whip snake. you've been down a trail or two and you've seen fans like that come and go that's really. why you always buy the latest but, archwood you know, backpack apparently it's it called It's a good way of carrying a million things. Order assigned. 
Uh, build a bridge. I don't know how to build a bridge. Let's save. Tips. You can smack ghosts with somewhat uh, some of that whip snake action. You can actually throw stuff at ghosts. So you yeah. Mules, mules, cargo. Need the building thing. Bridges. Okay. So I do actually need metals 800. Damn. Can I re do private locker 200 400 yeah i don't have enough uh back That's a lot of stuff. Oh, Jesus. Uh, is this where the bridge needs to be? Yeah. Foundations are already in place. Really? I'm carrying all this shit for nothing. Sam, looks like you found the site. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. I don't know how to do this structure thing. Options. Uh. Oh, you hold it down. Complete structure. Ask him to fuck off and tell you you have a bridge. I could. Uh, select materials. How much does it need? Oh. We did need the metal. Uh, confirm. Why are you giving the bridges likes? I don't know. It doesn't cost me anything. We build a bridge. Built a bridge. Excellent snake. Yes, we built the bridge the best. It looks flimsy. It does look flimsy. Connection to Death Stranding game server is unstable. Oh. Okay, great. The game's broken, guys. Day two. <laughs>